Sylvia. Today we're having fun building Elko connectors. Now I need to build six of these for the new studio to bring audio in and out of the patch bay. I'm using 24 channel cordial cable. This is high quality cable manufactured in Germany. Oxygen free copper, really great cable. And it came, I asked them to send it with bare ends like this so that I could put on my own connectors. Here's one that's been finished. You can see this is an EDAC Elko 90 pin connector like this one. But I have it loaded up with pins. And how this works is each of uh, the 24 channels in this snake has individual wires, three individual con uh, conductor wires in it. So that adds up to 72 wires per bundle and each of those wires has to have a pin on it. And now I have pinned this one and all those wires are fitting into this housing and then bundled together and coming out of the back of the connector. Uh, you have to make a decision at the beginning of your project as to whether you're, uh, you're going to have your wiring coming out of the back or the side of your Elko connector housing. And there's a real easy way to adjust this. Here's a brand new one. And this one is set up uh, for the cable to come out of the side, but I want it to come out of the back. So you just take the um, panel off the side of the housing here. Don't lose that little screw or you'll be screwed. And then you can just flip that over and put that panel back on. I'll just put that pin back in there, this little screw just to hold it and I'll put it aside until we're ready to start uh, loading it up. But you can see now that the, the connector will be on this side and the cabling will come out of the back now. That's easy. Okay. The next thing that you can do to uh, help you get through the pinning process is to stagger the cuts on the cable. And I'll show you what I mean. What I've done is I've taken this cable and I've divided it into four six channel bundles. And that is according to the pinning diagram. And I've got a pinning diagram here to show you. So this is how the Elko connector is laid out. So this is how my channels are going to get loaded into uh, the connector. So 1 through 6, 7 through 12, 13 through 18, and 19 through 24. And you have to very carefully pin it in this configuration so that it'll match up with everything in the patch bay. So one tricky thing here is that when you load it up into the connector and you put that housing over it, and then all the cabling needs to be scrunched up in there and come out of the back of this housing only on one side, it causes a lot of stress on uh, the channels, the, uh, the pins that are on the end of the uh, connector. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually stagger the cut. And you can see how I've done it here. So the first uh, group, one through six, is the shortest because that's where the bundle will come out of the back of the connector. The second group, seven through 12, will be a little bit longer, maybe by a quarter inch. The third group, another quarter inch longer. And then finally, the uh, 19 through 24 channels will be uh, the longest. So you can see I did an angle here. So doing that staggered cut will help keep that connection together and keep those pins on those wires. And that will make for some happy and healthy Elko connectors. 
So next I'll strip back the wires and then we'll get to crimping. Here's the crimping tool. Six connectors, 72 pins each. That's a lot of crimping. All right, see you later.